Now the next thing you're going to want to do once you import uh, a CSV or an Excel file into your contacts, you're going to want to assign them. So let's take a look about the different ways you can assign them to a campaign. Let's take a look at Ashley first. Now we can see she's in the product nutrition. So what we're going to want to do, her SMS and email is on. If this is not checked, yes, they won't get a text. But we want to go down here and hit edit. And then we want to add a new field. And we want to go all the way down here to the product campaign, which would be nutrition training. And we want to make sure that that is a yes. Now, if she was a nutritionist, we'd go to the nutritionist uh, training and we would add that. So let's just look at what that looks like. And that would be not the nutritionist training tracking, it's the nutritionist. And so training, so we don't want her in that drip, so we'll make sure that's no. Then just make sure you hit save. Um, she'll get an SMS um, confirming <clears throat> the campaign. You'll see it over here on the right. And uh, that's how you manually add somebody to a product drip. Now, the, you could also um, send a text and then just select your group and send a text to all the groups saying, hey, click this link and, and join the training. And then once they click that link and check the box, then they would be in the drip. So several ways to do this. You could also do it with a keyword. But this is the only way to manually override um, people that need this information. Uh, they're on your team. You know, they have already signed up for text messaging. Um, and you want to kind of move them around into different campaigns and training. That's how you do it manually without any effort on their part. They're just going to get the text the next day. Uh, and until they hit stop, um, you know, or reply back stop, they're going to uh, continue to get the trainings that you want. So hope that helps. That's how you manually assign people to an SMS campaign.